welcome back everyone so today in this video we will be trying to activate microsoft copilot on windows 10. now keep in mind that for few people the method may not work i don't know the reason but many windows 10 users reported that the method is not working for them but still if you follow all my instructions i'm very sure that this method will be surely working for you and you can also let me know in the comment section that whether it worked or not and before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe and turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and you can also join my membership to live chat with me for helping you or fixing any kind of your pc and laptop problem all right so now you will have to come to this website the link will be in the description of wife tool and here you scroll down a bit you will find wife tool v0.3.3.0 zip you have to click on it the downloading will be quickly started now you have to open the downloaded folder so click on it and now you have to extract all these files. in case if you don't have the winrar then you can search for winrar in the google and download it now right click on it then click on extract file and now here you have to choose the location so click on document then click on new folder and the folder will be automatically created by the name wife tool so select it then click on ok and all the file will be extracted in the document in this folder so open this wife tool folder and now you have to copy the path of this location so click on the address box at the top right click on it and choose copy now next click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here you have to type cd space then make a right click to paste the path that you just copied and then hit the enter key and now you will be getting a command in the description of this wife tool so you need to copy it then come back to the black window make a right click and it will be automatically pasted now again hit the enter key and once it will be done it says successfully set feature configuration all right so we are done with the first step now in the next step we have to make some changes in the registry but before that you have to go ahead and restart your computer so go ahead and just restart the computer and once the computer gets restarted now you have to click on your windows search again type registry then click on registry editor click on yes and here in the registry editor from the left hand menu option you have to look for h key current user double click on it then you have to look for software double click on it then you have to look for microsoft double click on it then look for windows to so come to the w section you will find windows double click on windows and then in the windows you have to look for shell double click on it and in the shell now you will be getting a key by the name copilot so make a double click on it and in the copilot you have to look for the bing chat and once you click on the bing chat on the right hand side you will find a value by the name is user eligible you need to make a double click on it and you have to change its value data from 0 to 1. Now click on OK. Now in case if you don't find the copilot option over here, then what you can do, you can make a right click on the shell, over up to new, choose key, then you can rename that key as copilot. And once the copilot key will be created, again you can make a right click on the copilot, over up to new, click on key, and that key you can name it as Bing Chat. So once both these keys are being created, you have to click on the Bing chat. And then on the right hand side, you have to look for this value. It's still, if you don't find this value, then you can make a right click over here, hold up to new, choose door 32 bit value. Then you can rename that value as is user eligible and then follow the same instructions. All right. So once you are all done, now simply you have to close it. Now this time, if I make a right click on the taskbar, so you will find a new option here by the name show copilot preview button now if i click on it so now you can see the windows copilot button has been activated now and if i click on it so you can see the copilot is up now here you can enjoy the copilot asking any kind of question that you want to like if i type windows 11 24 h2 and now if i hit the enter key so it will be looking for the question then it will try to answer with the best answer and you can see that it's replying me back that windows 11 24 h2 is the next feature update for windows 11 
which is expected to be released in the second half of 2024. So it's working absolutely perfect. Now in case many of you might have another problem that co-pilot button will be appearing on the right hand corner but as soon as they click on it it automatically comes up with the Microsoft Edge instead of like this. So if you face this kind of problem then you will have to go ahead and uninstall the latest Windows 10 update. So for that right click on the Windows icon go to settings click on Windows update then you can click on view update history then click on uninstall update and whichever is the latest update you have to select it and uninstall it and after uninstalling the update once you will come back and again click on the co-pilot button so you will find that it will be coming up like this instead of coming up with the microsoft edge so that's all guys for today hopefully if you have followed the instruction this will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe if you have any kind of query any question you can let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye